Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I swear there are days. So, I know I don't have to restock the booth. I didn't sell enough for it to be really like an urgent matter. You know what I'm saying? And I thought, I'm going to go home and eat breakfast. All that good stuff. Maybe grab a couple pieces. Drop the kid off. And uh, she calls me. I forgot my lunch. Which... I have to bring her because there's a dance at school tonight and she has play practice so she needs lunch and dinner. If it was just lunch, I'd be like, eat the school lunch. But then she'll have no dinner. And I'm like, ugh. And then she's staying over at somebody else's house and I'm not going to send her like starving to their home. You know what I mean? After the dance, she's going with one of her friends for a slumber party and I thought, there is no way no way. I'm sending a starving child to some stranger's house, right? No, I didn't have any dinner. My parents don't feed me. Like, yeah, right. It's just everything. Every day that I have plans or uh, we're going to do this, there's something with that kid that comes up. It's exhausting. Like the other night, I left early to go pick her up because I was going to take five minutes to myself. And by the time I got to the intersection near her school, she was texting that she needed to be picked up because she was sick to her stomach. And I'm like, our time together is the only time I have to let go. Being a parent kind of sucks. Everybody that's like, oh, you'll love being a parent. It's the best job ever. They're thinking of babies. Babies are easy. You feed them. You change them. You can be on a routine with them. Kind of. I mean, they'll sometimes wake up and annoy you, but it's not like this. And then she needed money for the dance. And she needed me to pay for a field trip next week. And, oh, she's going to need money to go on the field trip because they're going to a grocery store. And I'm like, oh, my God. It's an economics class. And they're going to buy food at the grocery store. It's an Asian grocery store. Asian market. So she's going to come home with seaweed and ginger chews. And I'm like... I don't know what that does for me, but I gotta give her 20 bucks to go. I got paid this week, and more than half of my check is already gone to her and her events and pay for this and pay for that, and I need money and I need a yearbook and I need, and I'm like, that's cool. And then she came home and told me, I have to buy costumes for my gym class. What are we in superhero training? What do you need a costume for gym class? They're doing a dance. And I said, you know, when I was in school, dance was square dancing. Like, you didn't want to touch the boys' hands, but you had to square dance with them, right? Theirs is like full on dance. You know, and she goes, so we're going to wear all black and then we have to have a neon thing. And I'm supposed, I'm the one that's supposed to buy the costumes. And I said, no, you're not buying costumes. And you could tell your gym teacher to call me. I am so sick of that school having their hand out every time I freaking turn around. Every time I turn around, it's like, you got to pay for this. You got to pay for that. It's like 60 $300 is gone, guys. $300 in two days. On school stuff. I don't even know how this happened. Like, I had to sit and look, and I'm like, oh, that's right. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the friggin' yearbook was $40. This is exhausting. It's exhausting being a parent. And I'm like, I'm not going to have enough gas to get me through to the next check. And that's the other thing. Now it's another another take of gas because I have to run, bring her a lunch. No wonder why when everybody goes empty nest, they suddenly can take vacations and they, they, they think, I mean, you're like, are they rich suddenly? No, they just don't have kids anymore. The kids are paying for their own crap. Okay, I'm done venting. I was going to go home and work on the table for an hour before I had to go to pick it. And now I got to run. It's a half an hour to school, a half hour back because we live in the country. And it snowed last night. It's sort of melting because it's getting a little warm out. But it snowed last night. I'm I'm just annoyed right now. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. When this morning I had to pay for a field trip and then go stop, put gas in my car and get cash back so that she could have money for this bloody dance. I'm like got to be kidding me. Get in the car. I'm going to the ATM. Good lord, dude. Just go. Could have turned 16 times over, but did he? No. See, I'm annoyed. It's not a good day. And I feel like this little bit of snow that we had is way more than enough to keep a Friday dead at Pickett. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to go out of business. I mean, a third month in a row. I mean, December usually is what carries me through these months. And December was horrible. November and December are usually enough to carry me through January, February. I kind of bank on December being better than normal. And it was worse than normal. And I talked to another vendor yesterday and she said it was her worst December in 12 years. It hasn't been that way in 12 years. And she said, it's her second worst December ever. She's one of the people that, like, she literally keeps the most meticulous records of anyone I've ever seen. And she does comparisons and charts. And she's like, it's the second worst December ever in Picket Fence Gals history. History. This is hard. This is going to be hard to get through. And she said the same thing. Ordinarily, December sales carry me through January and February. It's like, yep, yep, same. So at least it's not just me going, okay, you got to set aside December because January and February are going to be rough. Because I think when I do it, that it's because I'm not doing well. You know, and I'm like, I must not be doing very well because I have to set aside this money for January and February. No. It was comforting to hear another vendor tell me that they do the same thing because it's hard. January and February are hard. People stop shopping after the holidays. And as a small business or an individual person running a business, it makes it really difficult. And I've always just kind of went, okay, I have to set aside money from November and December. But this year, I couldn't. I mean, everything went to just keeping the lights on, basically, for this business. And now, I'm not even keeping the lights on. I'm borrowing from my husband. I'm 
borrowing from my other job to like my money that I earned from my other job to pay the bills. And I've never had to do that. This is hard. This is really hard for me. It's a hard lesson for me. I mean, it's a lesson, but it's hard. But it is what it is. Here's the snow. You can see up here by my house where they're not talking about on the news. So on the news, they're like, it's it's not sticking to anything. It is here. You can see here. And it's on the roads here. So by my house, there's snow. The car was covered. And on the news, they're like, oh, there's some flakes, but it's not sticking to anything. It is here. It is there. I don't know the place. The road in front of me is covered. And, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not like we got 12 inches of snow or anything, but it's sticking. So, like, the guy on the, the guy on the weather is like, it's not covering anything. My car looks like a little white turtle. I'm like, yeah, it is. And I better go home, fire some food down my throat so I get back in the car and go take her her lunch. And dinner. And it's snowing again. Uh, I figured as long as I was home and she does not gonna eat lunch till like 10, because they eat lunch at 10. Um, I loaded the front seat. So I went into the garage and I knew I had this old plastic bag that I filled with Easter stuff when I took it out a few years back. A few years back. It's a while, it's been a while since this Easter stuff has been out of the storage area. It wasn't in last year. So I dug back through, I went into the cave and dug it out like tell with it I'm gonna grab something to put in right because if there's nothing there it can't sell if it's not in the stop in the store it can't sell so I'm just gonna I just grabbed like a ton of stuff I don't even know what's in these bags but they're already priced <laughs> Here's what I know. They're already priced. They haven't been in there in a while. And they need to go away. So maybe there's stuff in here that I can clearance down to nothing. And, uh, you know, it's our sweetheart of a sale. And all the bargain shoppers are the only ones braving the cold. One lady yesterday complained about the Tupperware pricing. Because... Is this $5 for all four of these? And I said, no, they're $5 a piece. That's why they're individually marked. And she goes, $5 for Tupperware. Yep, it's $5 for Tupperware. There's something rattling in there. complaining about it. And I'm like, yeah, it's the sweetheart sale, but not everything's on sale. You have to look for the sale things. We don't just have a sale room and you just go in there and then leave. You're going to have to shop. There's no point of being rude. If you don't like the price, you can't afford it. Move on. There's no hate there. Can't afford it. Go away. She thought I should sell her all four pieces of Tupperware for $5. I'm like, no. Because those were the little um, lunch keepers. Those I can get more than that for those online. I can get them for nine online. So if they don't sell here at five, they're going online. <laughs> Tupperware is cheap to sell, to ship. It's easy to ship Tupperware. So she's like complaining. I'm like, honey, I ain't gonna do any good because I get more for it online. If it don't sell here, that's not a threat. Ugh. 
But I did find while I was grabbing the Easter stuff, another uh, deviled egg tray. So the deviled egg taker that I had was missing one tray. And I kept thinking, I bet I have one somewhere in my replacements. I found it. So do they drive in the merge lane and then act like you're the problem for merging onto the highway. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway. Um, I managed to see in my replacement parts the egg tray that I said I'm sure I have one. And now I have a uh, devil dick taker that I can put in the booth for another $19 on that. I get more online, but you know what? 19's good. Get 19 for it. That's what I got for the last one. So, at Pickett. So, let's go take care of the kid and go load the booth. So, there's the bag full of Easter stuff that's been in there forever. And then I grabbed these two bag, this bag, and that's got my lunch in it, but I put some stuff in there too. So, let's get to work. Yay! Nothing went after I left. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I lied. You know what went? Look. The thing that you stoke the fire with. What's that called? Uh, you know what I mean. All right, that was in there. That's old. Yay! You guys, just to prove that the snakes in my garage are doing their job, look what I just pulled out of this bag. Lemon poppy seed scones have been in this bag, open, in my garage, on the floor, for at least a year. No mice. No mice. This is a benefit. I know we don't like snakes either, but I'd rather have the snakes than have my inventory chewed up. And that just proves I don't have any in my garage. <laughs> Well, the day is over and I found caramel. <laughs> There's another shop in town called um, Ghost in the Attic. We popped in there with Miss Naomi. She's in the car behind me. And uh, I got a caramel because I earned it. It was dead. The people who were there were buying and they weren't buying cheap stuff, but it was so freaking dead. I think I sold two things. My things weren't expensive, but at least the uh, other cus other people were selling. It just, the snow kept people away. I could tell you that the second I woke up this morning and it's a Friday. So Friday's dead and the customers don't like snow. So, here we are. I really wish it had been better. But it wasn't. It's just what it is. So, tomorrow I don't work. I'm going to an, another archery tournament tomorrow. And who knows? Maybe if there's some junking along the way, I'll stop. <laughs> maybe I'll find a thrift store somewhere near Mankato. Because I have a two-hour drive ahead of me tomorrow. So her archery tournament is hell and gone from our house. And I'm not happy about it. Because that means I'm going to lose an entire day to, uh, you know, driving to an archery tournament and back. <sighs> she's, she's my daughter. I love her. I love her. I'm going to, let's leave it at that, right? Um. I'm not bringing any more stuff up for the booth. It's just unnecessary at this point. Nothing sold. They made messes. I had a lot of people picking through stuff and going, oh, look at this, oh, look at this, oh, look at this, and then just tossing things down. 
but it definitely was not like a hit seller today. Makes for a very long day. I got to work with Naomi in the morning, which was nice because then the time went faster because you're sitting there and you're talking and you've got a friend to sit with and, and chat with when you're just wandering around waiting for customers to come in what, what we call floating it was just rough it was rough but that's what we do that's our job so can't complain I guess well, I could, but who would listen? <laughs> and that's it for me today. I'm going to go get off my feet because my feet are... My dog is a bargain. My feet are... It, it's tough to be on your feet the whole time. And then there's too many of us and no customers coming in. and No fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy chicken. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.